These are my elderberries, which I'll be making elderberry wine. Probably, I know there's a lot of elderberries. There's at least, I would say, 15 pounds here. So I'm going to be making elderberry wine. And uh, I, I have elderberry wine, but um, I don't have any currant wine left uh, or black cherry or, or the uh, black currant because we drank it all. It was so good. So, but I want to show you how this looks. Uh, and this is, this is the blueberry wine that I made. And this is absolutely, everybody loves this one. This is the most, the most beautiful, rich color. Absolutely beautiful. And it tastes absolutely divine. And it's very strong. I can smell the alcohol from here as soon as I pour it. Okay, so that's the blueberry. And then here's the uh, apple. This is apple. Absolutely beautifully clear. Gorgeous. And this is, oh, if you could smell it, it smells delicious. Oh, I'm going to... Oh, divine. And I used a little cinnamon and a little cardamom powder in this. And it's just delightful. It's light. It's This is a year old now. And this is um, a year old. This is, I think, two years old now. This is gorgeous, too. Mmm. Oh, you could put that on ice cream. It's so delicious. It's delicious. But there are the two that I've got left. But... These wines are so easy to make, and they are just, just they get better with age. And uh, this is, uh, I'll be making some more. I've got some blueberry, five gallons of it right now um, in the other room. So I've got five gallons in the other room of blueberry. I haven't done the apple yet because it's the end of August, and I'm waiting for the apples to come in. And I usually get the apples that fall on the ground. Because uh, my friend who has an apple orchard says, oh, come take all the apples you want. And uh, I'll, I'll pick them up and they'll, they're rotten and whatever, but you uh, take the seeds out of them. I'll, I'll make a video on that, on how to make the apple wine, but that's absolutely delicious. Um, I use, actually, I use, uh, with sugar last year, I used some sugar, but I used maple syrup because we live here in New Hampshire, so we have maple syrup, tons of maple. So I use maple syrup for flavoring it also. And so I've got apple to make. I've got blueberry uh, in the carboy now. I've got 10 gallons of raspberry in the carboy. I'll be making the elderberry again. Um, and I've got black cherry. I've got 10 gallons of black cherry wine downstairs. So I didn't have any currants this year because the uh, creatures ate all my currants. So unfortunately, I don't have currant, but the currant wine is wonderful. So hopefully next year we'll have currants and I'll do something to get rid of the creatures. But... Uh, uh, that's how it is. That's how the wine is.